This is Mike Callis reporting for Chicago Independent Television. Today is November 16th, 2013, and we're here on scene at the March Against Mainstream Media. Today was a national day of protest against the mainstream media, organized by the group Anonymous. Today in Chicago, dozens of protesters showed up to show their outrage at the lies and misinformation that is being peddled to them as news. The media has been uh, feeding us lies and haven't told us the uh, facts of what's going on around the world. Like, do we really care what Lady Gaga is doing? No, we care about what, what's happening around the world. What our government is doing right now with our money and taxes and everything. So I believe that Fox and any other uh, news channel is, is a bunch of lies to us. Yeah, there's, there's no better evidence that the media has no intention whatsoever to listen to the people that what we're seeing here today. We have about 50 or 60 people that have been walking from media outlet to media outlet. And we've been walking right up to their doors. And so far, no reporters have come to talk to us. They're behind us? No, uh, they're closing up. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, they're closing up now. Oh, that's convenient. If we harass an outlet bad and long enough by adding pressure to them, we can get them to stop doing this type of stuff. Report the truth! 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 Report the truth. Report the truth. Report the truth. A lot of the tools and tactics we've used in many of the other campaigns that a lot of those activists have been involved in and bring those tools together to aim it at the media. Perfect example. Hey, CBS, what's the purpose of having a studio with windows so people can see inside for you to close the shade in the daylight? Exactly. Would be right. That's no sunlight. Exactly. It's cloudy. Exactly. It's cloudy outside. Exactly. It's cloudy outside. Exactly. It's not like there's a glare. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sunlight. Look at the sunlight. <laughs> what you need? You need privacy? What you need privacy for? You're going to be airing something on the air for all of us to see. But I believe the shade's open, right? So let me get this right. You're going to air something for everyone to see, but you want the blind clothes so people can't see from out here. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. See the BS there? You see the BS there? Hello? Hello? Answering, guys. They don't care about us. Well, I think we just saw what happened is that they closed the blinds on us and they're trying to shut it out because they don't want people to get this story. They don't usually put down. Here's a day. perfect example, people. They went and closed the blinds on us. And all we report, all we want is for them to report the truth. Well, that's why we brought our own independent cameras show this to people, to show that they can't trust the major news networks. You can't go to them for information. They're just going to silence it. They're going to shut it out. One thing they're not going to do is they're not going to put it on television.
Anita Alvarez has seen this footage and still called the shooting justified. She's sending the message clear as a bell. It is all right to shoot and injure men of color and communities of color in Chicago. We must stand and get this message out because mainstream media refuse to cover these stories. Channel 5 man. One of the biggest stories that the media doesn't report on is the fact that the media is more consolidated and privatized than any time before in history. The media lobby with the National Association of Broadcasters is one of the biggest lobbies in Washington. They spend over $100 million every year buying off our politicians. They spend hundreds of thousands of dollars taking them on paid vacations around the world. The FCC has given away the public airwaves for no money. The companies do not pay one penny to own the public broadcasting spectrum. And they use that to rake in hundreds of billions of dollars every year. The news won't report on stories that go against the corporations that own them. They won't report on stories that go against the advertisers that buy airtime on their network. The advertisers have to sign agreements with the networks that mandate that the networks will not broadcast anything that is offensive or harmful towards those corporations. This is how money is censoring our information. And you know who one of the biggest advertisers on the networks are? The politicians. In the last election cycle for the president, there was over a billion dollars spent on presidential campaign advertisements. How can we trust the media to report and to be critical on these politicians when they're entirely dependent on the money from these ad campaigns? And so we have a democracy that's owned and controlled by corporations. They kick out every other political party but the Republicans and Democrats. And this is what we're left with. Now the media should be here challenging this corrupt system. They should be the watchdogs that are looking out and pretty much raising hell over the fact that our democracy has been stolen by these corporations. But because the media has been bought and paid for by the corporations, and because they paid and bought and paid for the politicians with their lobbying, there's no accountability. So we're demanding that the FCC looks at these licensing renewals and says no. We don't want just a blind renewal of the licenses for these media corporations. We want the monopolies broken up. We want the airwaves returned to the public. We want a free and independent media. We don't need no fake news. We don't need no fake news. We need real news. Report the truth. Report the truth. Report the truth. Report the truth. We don't need no fake news. When the mainstream media fails, there are other alternatives that you can go to for the real information. One of these places is Chicago Independent Media. When you go home, I want you to look it up online and you can follow this story that you're not going to hear today on the mainstream news. You're going to have to go to Chicago Independent Media and other alternative news sources if you want to get the real information.